Yeah, all right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon: Explorers of Darkness. Do you know what today is? It's August nineteenth, two thousand twelve. Exactly two years ago to this day, I uploaded my very first episode of my very first LP. I have a few more extra things coming today, so look forward to those. And by a few, I mean one, possibly two. Anyway, on with the plot of Explorers. Well, time is relative. Now that time has returned to normal, peace has come to the world. But, but us. What's with us? But what's this deal about space? This is Explorers of Time and Darkness, not Time and Space. Hmm. Who knows? We'll probably never find out. This is proceeding nicely. This forced distortion in the very fabric of space itself is growing. <laughs> this distortion of space and dimension itself. If it expands further, my own power will be amplified. I failed to destroy time, but things will be different now. Well, who the hell is this dude? And who's this? Darkrai. So Darkrai was behind the whole plot for time? Of stopping time? Huh. Jeez. Does that mean Dialga was just a pawn? Panel to pawn? Anyway, I got a, a Shurgun Seraph to level up. lion and Desert Rose are still just kind of floating around. Eh. But anyway... <laughs> oh, you greedy bastard. At any rate, uh, it's another one of those situations where you have to go through a few more days of exploring before something will happen, so I will be right back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it came as a sort of a shock. It was only one day and this happened. Well, doesn't this look kind of familiar? If I was any good at editing, I'd splice in something from uh, my Blue Rescue Team LP, but I'm not, so I won't. Well, that's not Gardevoir. <laughs> I am Cresselia. Your... your very existence is pushing the world towards ruin. Cash earn! Because you are in this world. You defeated the sun that... the moon that was named... No, the sun that was... God damn it all to hell, I just fucked up my Cash Earn Sins reference. You destroyed the sun that was named Moon. Well, there's nothing to do but watch more Eureka 7 ever since Dead Man Wonderland finished. Whee! Alright, I think we have to go through another day. BRB! Bitch! <laughs> okay. Did a slightly better job of that this time. It's 
the dream again. Cresselia. Tell me more. You are a human who came from the future. You are not of this world. That is cr creating the distortion in the fabric of space. This world would be ruined, but if we consume you, we can stop the ruin. Kashern. <laughs> I love Kashern Sin. That's like my favorite anime now. Seriously, there's, like, all the episodes are on, uh, YouTube. Look them up. Like, right now. Seriously, pause, pause my video. Just go watch Cash and Sins right now. Wake up, you lazy bitch. <laughs> There's me, back to my old cursing and whatnot. Oh boy, more flashbacks, because that isn't an overused, uh, thing in this. I do love this game. Man, my voice just cracked. <laughs> Come on, let's put a little pep in there. Alright, again, be right back! Ha, I had the foresight to save the state because I knew something like this may happen. It's just been a while since I played the game. I'm glad I caught you. I reckon you were about ready to go out for the day. <sighs> There's trouble afoot. Little Zuril. Little Zuril's in trouble, y'all. They brought the little feller to the guild. Now you two, squeal like a pig. <laughs> That's terrible. We don't need a deliverance reference here. He's been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping, but he won't wake up. I tried waking him up over and over, but he's still asleep. I got worried, so I brought him to the guild. Jeez. Unfortunately, I'm fresh out of ideas, too. To be locked in a nightmare, unable to wake up for days on end. I've never heard of such a thing. You kind of just, like, mash it up into paste and, uh, put it down his throat. Shut up, Bidoof. <laughs> yeah, I got to thinking. Since we can't make the nightmare go away, if we somehow figure out what kind of nightmare is having, maybe we can figure out why the little fella can't wake up, by golly. Yikes. <laughs> Didn't we know someone who could look into dreams? We get him while he's still a drowsy, not the hypno-pedophile. How can we forget it? it was our first boss, and he was responsible for trying to use Azuril. Azurillo, Dio. Ha. <laughs> Oh. Well, is he still in jail? That'd be kind of creepy. Like, he's just sitting over you watching. Watching you dream. Oh, man. Torture. <laughs> or so you believed him right off the bat? Mount Travail. If I'm not mistaken, if you have the uh, mystery part or the secret slab, Hoa will appear in the uh, Mount Travail. I'm not sure if it's Mount Travail or it's similarly named Mountain, but Hoa definitely Hoa appears on a mountain. All right. 
Maybe I should have finished the post-game stuff for uh, Blue Rescue Team before I played this game. This game is just leagues better than uh, the first one, and I guess and I keep trying to bring myself to do the post-game stuff for Blue Rescue Team, but every time I do it, I just... I don't know, I can't bring myself to do it. Anyway, on to Mount Travail. Also, for the rest of the uh, plot point... Like, for the rest of the uh, dungeons that we have to go through as a plot point... We can't bring any more party members. It's just Seraph and Ashura. No more Desert Rose and no more lion -O for the rest of the LP. And they never really helped out much, and I think they were just kind of a hole I sunk golden seeds into. Oh well. Anyway, on to Mount Travail. Uh, I think it's 20 floors long. Filled with Pokemon like Ursaring. That is a mountain, and bears do live on mountains. Bears also shit in the woods, apparently. <laughs> now, I don't. The experience might be good, but we're not going to level up for a little while longer because we both leveled up while I was going through a mission earlier. Well, off screen, I mean. Hey, it's Irog. Oh my god, speaking of Tyrog, I still need to get the post-game stuff for Pokemon Gold finished. The last thing I ever touched on that was five months ago. I need to show us going through uh, Mount Mortar. Actually, a lot of other stuff. Oh well. I'll get it eventually. That's what I always say. It became a trope for me. Post-game content? He'll never do it. The only reason I did Explorer's post-game content is because it was so directly correlated to the plot that I don't really consider it post-game content, I consider it the rest of the story. Bitch. Alright, I'm gonna get you now, punk. Damn it. I meant to hit my, uh, S key so I could get to the moves, and I accidentally hit the uh, X key, which is what I use to attack. Because, yes, I play all my... L Any LP that I've done that wasn't a camera LP has been played on my laptop. Don't like my fact that I... Don't like the fact that I emulate? Get over it, Matt! <laughs> I've... Well, speaking of that... <laughs> Also, I've been testing out a new LP with the, uh, well, actually two new LPs with the, uh, DS emulator. I'm not having tremendous luck with either of them, but... I'm also not going to spoil what they are, because... They're two of my favorite games on the DS, but they're not Pokemon games. The fact of the matter is I can't run fourth generation Pokemon games on my laptop very well. It'd be a laggy mess, and I'd sooner just make it a camera LP, which I already said I'll never do another camera LP again, unless it's Tales of the Abyss 3D. And even then... I did what Shugga Conroy does for Okami Den, but... He said it was expensive. And even though I just got some more money... Because I got a... I told you, I stopped LPing for a while, because I got a job, and I couldn't really... LP at my aunt's house, which is where I was, uh, staying. So I got a little extra money, and I put it towards a capture card. Well, speaking of that, hell yeah, I got a capture card, guys. So, uh, I'm gonna see a few LPs like Dark Cloud coming your way real soon. I also really want to do Final Fantasy thirteen, But after 7. Speaking of which, uh, you know, I started 7 and it was on the PS1 emulator. I'm going to be finishing it on the uh, capture card because I tried doing episode 2 on the emulator while up working in my aunt's house. And uh, it started getting really laggy. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to get a capture card soon. Anyway, so. Bob's your uncle. 
much money. I got a good amount of money. Oh, damn. Don't need silver wind. Don't need silver wind. I also had another idea. I was thinking about uh, doing another Pokemon Gold boss rush, but with Pokemon I love, but I've never used on a team before. Like Quillfish and uh, Mad Cargo. Well, I used Mad Cargo the first time I ever played the game. But Pokemon like Quillfish, Mad Cargo, um, another Pokemon. I always get uncomfortable when uh, Ashura uses Whirlpool. I'm always afraid it's going to miss when I need it to hit the most. Might replace it. If I find an Ice Beam TM, he's going to get that right away. So he can take out Dragons. Except the one dragon I really needed to take out very soon. Who is coincidentally, I feel, the most unfair boss in the entire game. I should have brought up my reviver seeds. I thought I forgot this dun I forgot the dungeons and don't fuck around. I almost ran right into that bastard. <sighs> so I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing Pokemon for me anyway. Who am I kidding? My entire... Ha most of my fan base, and well over three quarters of my total views are from Pokemon. So... Sure, you all wouldn't mind seeing. Oh God damn it! The one move I hadn't used yet. Well, I hadn't used smoke screen yet. But I'm really afraid of monster houses now because I don't think I'm packing a max elixir on me. I am. Cool. <laughs> Might actually use that max elixir soon. We're getting close to the end, but uh, thankfully there's no half. Waypoint. I was afraid of what he was going to do. I forgot what Reflect does. I thought it, like, reflected some of the damage back to you in this game. And that worried me. Cool. So, my viewers, tell me, have any of you ever played Mega Man Legends? My friend, well, someone who used to be a friend, had it a very long time ago, but, you know, I was never interested in it because that was my childhood. All I wanted to do was go play Pokemon. And I really want to play it now, because I'm into Mega Man, but... It's like every copy of every Mega Man Legends game is super expensive. Like the Misadventures of Tron Bon and, you know, Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. Legends 3 was supposed to come out, but Crapcom sucks dick! Seriously, Capcom is... I don't want to say they're exactly as bad as EA and Activision in my eyes, but... They're a pretty terrible company. You can handle that. Yeah, you can handle that. I do have an apple if I really need to eat it. Oh my god! Why? We were so close! Ah, oh, god damn it, right at the very end. And most of the monsters are right on a uh... What the hell? If Ashura dies, am I going to lose?
All right. All right, cool. Fuck! All right, that didn't work. All right, so now we make him eat. And see what happens here now. All right, still hits him. And everyone gets switched around again. And everyone gets switched around again. All right, not bad. Now let's see what happens if I lava plume here. All right, there's still three monsters right on uh, Ashura. Nope, that's not going to work. All right, now let's say I move up. Let's say I take his place. That's not going to work either. Now let's say I eat an Oran Berry. Okay. It's not going to work. Now let's say Ashura eats an Oran Berry. That's not going to work. Crap, I think I'm... Ugh. I have to say, that was quite a war. But I did it. Alright. Not bad. I really should have showed that, but I was afraid that was going to take forever, and uh, I didn't want the get the I didn't want the recording to get too large because then everything would take too long to render, even with editing. But I assure you, I assure you, it was pretty cool. I hate baton pass. I always feel epic doing that, even though it requires a lot of save state abuse, that it's always like nice and strategic. Improves that with a little Nope, oh, fuck this. <laughs> I'm out. I think this is it. Yeah. At least I made that max elixir worth using. <laughs> Darcy, how did you get up here? We're not here to arrest you. We need your help. Remember that little Azura, right? Are you willing to atone for your sins, Casher? <laughs> That's pretty snazzy. <laughs> now let's go all the way back down. Alright, that'll be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to see what's up with Azuril. The end of the game is coming up real soon, guys. Hope you enjoy it all.